It's a beautiful day here in Stockholm and both Robbie and I have the day off. Oh, I love that I point like Robbie and everyone knows that he's there. Anyways, we both have the day off which is very rare and it is absolutely beautiful. It's sunshine and it's like 17 degrees I think. So uh, we're putting the backpack on. Show the backpack. Can't, you need to turn. turn. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're going on an adventure. Let's go get our tan on. Woo! Okay, the crazy thing is that we had friends here two months ago and it was minus 12. And today, two months later, it's 17 degrees and everything is blooming and it's just like boom! And here's many things you can do. You can go for a swim, even though I think we might be a bit cold. Uh, they have saunas, they have restaurants, cafes, some people doing barbecues, outdoor gym. Yeah, they got everything. Mini golf as well. Mini golf. Very important. <laughs> It's actually pretty typical, apparently, of Swedes, including myself, to sunbathe right now. But it's actually quite cold. It's very windy. You can see everyone's got their clothes off. But um, yeah, it's a little bit chilly. But hey, we do what we gotta do. We've had so much fun in so the forest, fun. so much fun, <laughs> but now we just want to sit down and have a coffee, but yeah, we can't really seem to get out of the forest, so. Yoga, yoga is trött. Yeah, Robban is trött, yoga is trött. Yoga is trött. Yeah, Rob, oh, this uh, is better. Alright, so this is the part where we show the classic shot of the fika the coffee and dessert, but um... Al's already finished. Where's mine? You don't get it. <laughs> okay. oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> here in Hornsby Strand and uh, the sun is out people mm. are just so happy about the sun and we have done some observations about what Swedes are like when the sun comes out and when the summer is, is getting closer you know so as soon as spring comes as soon as there's even a little glimpse of sun the population of Stockholm triples before people were hibernating and understandably in the winter everyone goes into their little apartment into their shell and seemingly just disappears from the world but as soon as the sun starts to come out people come out of hibernation and Stockholm is now packed when it is above 15 degrees and a little bit of Sun it actually is socially accepted to walk around half naked uh, in the spring the days become much longer and so at night it actually doesn't get dark until about 10 o'clock 
and in the mornings, I swear sometimes I'm waking up because of the sun in the morning at 4 a.m. we have sunlight so really long days and obviously they're just going to keep getting longer and longer until the infamous midsummer midsummer and we'll do a we'll do a video on midsummer because yeah. that'll be a bit of fun that will be so much fun big party time almost every suede is a little bit tanning obsessed mm. and when i say little i mean quite a lot mm. uh, as soon as the sun comes out we're just like oiling oiling up and just go outside and just trying to get as brown as we can. You don't know when you're gonna see the sun next yeah. because you live in Sweden. So you go outside and you just try to suck everything in, you know, and just store it in your body. I'm actually body. supposed to. Oh yeah, so just a quick added extra. Everyone now is riding bikes. It's like uh, Tour de France out here. <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool, so everyone's got their Lycra. Got the helmets, got the special bikes. Yeah, they're just really going for it. So, tour to Stockholm. Sunrise. 